Hello everybody and welcome back to Teresa's Corner. I am Teresa Ruiz and they, I want to start off by thanking you for choosing to spend your time with me. Also for everybody who's new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy these videos. So today's video, if you guys don't recall, I have thrift. Today, Sunday, August 9th is the third week of me treating my orchids with a mixture of neem oil and anti cyto soap with a splash of Dawn. And I have noticed a difference on my orchids. Still see signs of damage, but it has not been progressing. So I believe the treatment is working. Also, the orchids that I had, that had blooms and that were badly affected, I feel like they're doing much better and I'll get to that in a minute, but I'm gonna take one by one, spray it, and then I'm gonna set them out. Uh, there is actually shade now, so I can do this, and it's still early in the day. It's only about 1 p.m. here. So they'll be out here for a good four or five hours to make sure that they dry up before I can put them back in my greenhouse. So let's get started. All right, so I have my orange Phalaenopsis here. If you guys remembered, this one was the one I first noticed the thrips on. And as you can see, I've, I removed the spike the first week and I treated it, but now I can actually see more damage on the foliage from where the thrips, I'm assuming, laid their eggs. All right, so I'm gonna take you closer so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you see that there? It looks like it's just little dots, right? But all this is underneath the leaf. Can you see that? And it's on the underside too. A lot of discoloration. You definitely tell where it's scarring. The leaf is a little dry. You can tell that it's dehydrated compared to the rest of them and you see that right there so this is the top of the leaf my theory is that when the thrives were laying their eggs they laid their eggs within side of the the leaf so this is why I believe it's so hard to kill these things because they will lay their eggs inside so you can spray whatever you want, right? But you will not be able to get them until they hatch. By the time they hatched, there's already a few who've laid their eggs in there and the cycle begins, right? So this is why it's important for you to keep up with the treatment for a good four to, I don't know, eight weeks. Uh, this is why I also mentioned the organic method didn't work for me i would end up using um orthine and i did receive it last week i just feel like i'm gonna give it another week or two at least on this one to see if that's if it stops right but i obviously i keep this one separate from my other orchids the fowl that i have hanging on my tree as you can see this the spike completely dried off this part here where it branched out completely dried off uh, the thrips got to it it's okay like I said uh, I was not too concerned about losing the blooms I'm more concerned about the well-being of the plant and then I believe I was able to save this part branching out here because look at the bloom it's opening I mean I see some damage from when it was first developing look at the buds they're not yellow like the other ones so they look alive and can you see that little tiny bud there the spike's still growing so that's a good sign and then i'm going to take you in so this is why i was mentioning earlier right that i feel the organic treatment is working uh i do of course have to continue to spray it it's only the third week but I believe that's good progress and then here we have the dendrobium if you guys remember this branch here had a few buds and they were completely dried out so this bud here survived as you can see I mean it's not the greatest bloom but at least 
it survived, right? It's a sad looking flower, but it's still beautiful. And bike developed quite well. I don't see any signs of damage yet. I hope it stays that way. The buds are developing. As you can see, it looks nice and green. I can already see the buds developing there. I think this is good. Survived. So those were my three orchids that I noticed the damage on first. And as you can see, they are doing well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying these. In case you don't remember, here is my gallon of neem oil mix. And I have my spray bottle. And I just sprayed all over. I don't think this time I'm gonna be spraying this spike here but I do want to get the entire area. I am going to spray this old uh, flower just in case. My fowl. And you want to make sure you get everything. And of course I'm going to cut the spikes here. So the reason why I left it here, I cut right above the first node, is because I received, I purchased a cakey paste, and I love the blooms on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Of course, I wanna make sure that my orchid is healthy first, so, but that is why I cut the, the spikes. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue spraying, but this is where my orchids are gonna remain for the next five hours or so. Once they go back to my greenhouse, I will keep my fan on for a while to make sure that they are dry. I, like I said, I do this with enough time during the day because I don't want to, I don't want to water or keep any moisture in the crown of my orchids during the nighttime because that creates a high risk of crown rot. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and fast forward spray all my orchids and I'll show you what they look like out here towards the end. So see you guys in a bit. All right, before we get started I'm going to show you what my conditions are in my greenhouse. As you can see it's 80 degrees and at 62 percent humidity. And this is pretty much it. This is how it remains throughout the days. Uh, humidity can get as high as like 90 if I close my if I close my door or my screen right and I keep both fans running and my humidifier at full blast it'll remain at like a good 80 90 percent I try not to keep it that high because it's it does, it's not needed I do like to keep the door open so it gets a nice airflow I do keep one of the fans running uh, just to ensure that there is air circulation As you can see, this bottle, this gallon here, lasted me three weeks. And as you can see, I'm being very generous. I'm spraying the entire plant as much as I can. And they're looking good. Let me show you something really quick. So the same damage I noticed on the first fowl that had uh, the orange blooms, I noticed it here too. You see it there? It's like a line. I mean, I can definitely feel the indentations on both ends. And you can see little dots. So, I don't know if this one here was 
starting to get affected and because I caught it in time, it just never spread. But, I mean, it's doing good. I have not noticed it uh, getting any worse or anywhere else on the leaf. See, it's doing great. I mean, look at the leaves. They're growing just as big, pretty big. I mean, this, grow, this leaf is still developing and this one is about to start. That's what I noticed with this one. When I received it, it just had these two. It sprouted the sleeve and it got like, you know, halfway. It wasn't developed all the way when this one sprouted and it ended up, you know, looking like this. So I thought maybe there was something wrong with the orchid because the leaf had stopped growing. But no, it wasn't that it stopped growing, it's that this leaf was still developing and it grew much larger. And as you can see, this one here is still developing and it looks like this one just stopped growing but in reality it's still it's just allowing for this leaf here to mature and i had to put a little spike here because the leaf see this the leaf was like leaning way way much lower and i don't like that especially because i need them to be able to i need to be able to save room in my in my greenhouse so I wanted to make sure the leaf wasn't like you know taking too much room I want to keep them in one same direction anyways I'm gonna continue spraying see you guys in a bit Here I have this beautiful plant. I don't know the name of it. It was a gift from my sister-in-law. I went to her house and she had this beautiful plant and it was thriving. It's thriving. It was much larger and she brought me a, a growth, right? Because it started sprouting with leaves much, much larger than what you see here now I didn't realize that it was not gonna like the sunlight too much or at least direct sunlight and the leaves just shriveled and died and now I thought I had lost it and I put it in my greenhouse and it's loving it look at that these few leaves as you can see they were the first leaves that developed but this is what the leaves look like. But much larger. Like, I mean, much larger. I'm spraying this one too. I don't know how it's gonna react to the neem oil. This is the first time I spray it. But I don't wanna risk it. This one here, once again, I don't know what it's called. But it's one of those l plants with the large leaves and it's got little holes on the leaves i'm sorry i'm not very familiar with these type of plants i just know i like them so a tiny little leaf all right guys so this is pretty much what it's gonna look like I have a lot more orchids left, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and continue spraying. And well, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have for you guys. Just an update on my thrift infestation. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Once again, don't forget to leave me your thoughts concerns any tips in the comments below i do review those on a daily basis and i do respond as soon as possible well guys you guys have a good day bye